Today, I will show you the autosave function of Analyzer Book. The autosave function will allow you to recover charts in case your computer crash or Analyzer Book crash or if for some reason you lost your Analyzer Book chart you were working on. So first, let me show you how to enable this autosave function. You must go in here in the Customize Quick Access Toolbar, you click, and here on the option window, you go in Save, and here you have Autosave. Here you have a tick box, Save Chart Every X Minutes, so you can disable it or enable it. So I strongly recommend you to enable this Autosave function, and you can specify how often you want the charts to be Autosave. So you can go as low as one minute, and as much as, I don't think there is a limit, but I recommend that you set this autosave to be every one minute or two minutes, because it will not take a lot of space on your hard drive, and if you set the autosave period or timer to be more than one minute, it will mean that if an book or your computer crashes, you will lose more than one minute of work. So the lower you put, and the less you will lose in terms of work. Then you can specify the folder for the temporary files. By default, it's on C user, your name, app data, local temp. You can change it, but here I will leave it like this. And what I will do is I will open this location here so that you will see what's happening on this folder while I will be working on ISO book. So I will click OK and I will move this window here. And so this is the folder where the temporary files will be created, where the autosave charts will be stored. So here I've got an empty chart and I will start working on Analyzer Book. So I will create uh, some fake charts, okay, and link, okay. And you see here, you've got a file which was created. The name of the file starts with RCF, then you have a number which is generated autom automatically, and dot tilde i2. So it will always be RCF, a number, dot tilde i2. So uh, just add something, I can add some links, okay. And now I can create another chart, so I go in new chart, okay, and I will create another chart here, okay. So you see here, I still have this file here which relates to the chart 1, and for chart 2 I don't have yet the, any i2 uh, temporary file or any i2 autosave file. So we will have to wait a few seconds for it to appear. So meanwhile I can continue to add up. Okay, done. You see? So this new file rcf0027.tilde i2 corresponds to this new chart. But in fact you don't really care what this file is for. Is it for the chart 1 or chart 2? Because what's important is that you have two charts and you have two temporary files uh, which correspond to the autosave files, autosave charts of an ESO book. Okay? So, now what's happening if an ESO book crash or if your computer crashes? I will simulate this happening by going into the uh, task manager. Okay, I've got an ESO book and I will just kill it. So, I will, I will kill an ESO book. And you will see what's happening. So I still have the two files here. I will kill an ESO book. Okay. So I still have those two files here. And now I will reopen an ESO book. So I click an ESO book here. It's loading. Okay. So you see that an ESO book, when it opened, it reopened the two charts that I created. It opened the two charts from the tilde i2 temporary files. And those files have been deleted from here. So what you have to do now is to save the chart so, so that in case the Ansible crash, you are not losing this thing. But let's say I don't want to save the charts and I want to continue working on them, okay? So let's say I want to go back on chart one and I want to do a change. Just for example, I just want to move this item here from here to here. 
and in some book recognize that this was a change, it automatically autosave this chart or this change in the chart with this file here. And now what's happening if I close and it's a book with a normal closing. So I can click either here, either in file, close. So I'll do this and I will close all. Okay, save changes to chart one. I will say no, chart two, no. And you will see that the uh, tilde i2 file was removed from the uh, local, from the abda from the AppData local temp folder because as this temporary chart was closed and was closed manually by the user, okay, then an book doesn't have any reason to keep a backup of this chart. I also wanted to show you again in the option of an book here on the save, you have the archiving. This new feature was introduced in an book version 9.2 and it allows you to archive and save. So it creates a copy of the chart in an i2 chart archives folder every time you save the chart. This allows you to keep a, a kind of versioning of the different uh, versions of one chart. I strongly recommend that you enable this feature in a book and you can choose and you can choose the maximum number of copies per chart. So you can set it to three, five, whatever you want. And you can test archives for corruption. This is very useful because it will prevent you from having files which have been corrupted for some reason and which cannot be opened in ISO book. So it's quite painful when you have a chart on which you've been working for several days, weeks, months, and for some reason the file was corrupted, the, the A and B file was corrupted, and cannot be opened in ISO book. So by using the archiving feature, it saves three or four or five previous versions of this chart. And each time it checks for corruption. Okay, so I strongly recommend that you enable both the autosave and the archiving features in the save part of the option of an ISO book. Okay. What I also recommend you to do is you can test what I just did on your computer. So you just create a chart, you just open at the same time the folder with AppData local temp and you create a chart and you see if in this folder you do have the uh, .tilde i2 file which is created. If it's not created, you must check that you have the correct right to write on this file. You must check on the configuration where is the default folder for the autosave files here. You must check that you have the correct permission to write and read on this folder. So I click on cancel. Okay, so just make a few tests, check that everything is okay. Like this, you will be sure that if an ISO book or your computer crashes, you will not lose any work you've been doing on an ISO book. I hope this video was clear and will allow you to better use an ISO book. Thank you, bye.